Enzymes are really important in digestion, as they help us get enough nutrients out of the food before it leaves the body. So today, we're going to learn about three digestive enzymes. A great way to improve your understanding and boost your grades is with my study along workbooks. These are specifically made to use alongside my videos and contain loads of tasks and exam questions. By downloading them, you support me in continuing to make these videos. Get yours now from emmathetici.com. In the digestive system video, you heard the names of three digestive enzymes. Today, we're going to look at what they break down and the products of this breakdown. So let's take a look at the names of them. First up, we've got amylase. And this is an example of a carbohydrase enzyme. What do you think carbohydrases break down? Taking a look at the picture, it's things like bread and pasta, which we call carbohydrates. Amylase in particular breaks down the carbohydrate that's called starch. You may have heard of this already. And the products of this are simple sugars, for example, glucose. Our next enzyme is protease. What do you think it breaks down? Well, the start of the word is a hint. They break down proteins, for example, these chickpeas. Now, for the products, see if you can remember what proteins are made from. Well done if you remembered, they're made from amino acids. So when they're broken down, they turn back into amino acids. Our third enzyme is lipase. Any ideas what it breaks down? Well, the start of the word is another hint, it's lipids, otherwise known as fats and oils. For example, this cheese. The products of lipids are fatty acids and glycerol. As well as knowing what each enzyme does, you also need to know where they are produced and the site of action, i.e. where they work. I'm going to start with a top tip for you. All three enzymes are produced in the pancreas. Let's change those into green to match the colour of the pancreas. Another top tip is the site of action for all three enzymes is the small intestines. That means they all work in this organ. This is really good to know for any exam questions. Okay, but they do also get produced in other places. Amylase, for example, also gets produced in the salivary glands. It's then no surprise that the site of action is the mouth, as that's where the salivary glands are located. Protease, on the other hand, is produced in the stomach. And therefore, it also works in the stomach and it's also produced in the small intestines. Lipase is also produced in the small intestines. Now, different to the others, its only site of action is the small intestines. And this kind of makes sense when you look at the fact that the pancreas empties its digestive enzymes into the small intestine, and that's the only other place that they are made. So that's the only place where it works. Okay, it's time for some quick questions. Pause the video and give these questions a go, and then press play when you want to mark them. Ready? Number one, which enzyme is produced in the stomach? This is protease, and the salivary glands are amylase. Two, what do proteins break down into? Name the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction. Proteins break down into amino acids, and the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is, of course, protease. And three, when lipids are digested, the pH of the blood gets lower. Suggest why this happens. Well, for a suggest question, you're going to have to use the general knowledge you already have and apply it to the situation. So let's start by saying what we know about digestion of lipids. Lipids are digested into fatty acids and glycerol. And let's underline that key bit, acids. Fatty acids are of course acidic, so when they are absorbed into the bloodstream, the pH of the blood will decrease, making it lower. Well done if you got that one right, and do be prepared for this question to come up, perhaps as a graph question. Examiners love this question. So, how did you do on the questions? Next up, we're learning about the blood. Thanks so much for watching and please consider subscribing to the MBTG YouTube channel where you'll find loads more videos for GCSE science. Thanks and bye!